Okay, so what you're looking at now is another tube amplifier that uses the number 42 type uh, pentode. Now, I've, I've, I've made several tube amplifiers in the past, and so far, I really enjoy the sound quality and the definition and the neutral, neutral sounding of the 42 tube in SE mode. So I decided, hey, what the heck? Let's go ahead and build a tube amplifier that uses a push-pull uh, mode uh, with a pair of 42 tubes. So this is it. This is this monster here is a tube type 42 in push-pull mode. And um, I use this for to drive my big, I have a huge JBLs, uh, four, uh, 12 inch JBLs that I've used um, with my record um, system. And this is what I use to drive those big old uh, JBL um, speakers. Uh, it sounds wonderful. It's a wonderful neutral sounding amps. My, you know, you know me, I always say that about my amplifiers. And I just love this amp. Um, let me show you around real quick. You have your off and on switch down here, relay, power, this is a choke, power transformer, paper and oil capacitor, regular capacitor, smoothing capacitor, and I have here a pair of uh, transformers, audio transformers, input transformer. Let me zoom in so you can take a look at these transformers. It's a 101 um, line transformer, and I use that to smooth out any noise or any hum coming in from another device. Um, and as for a, let me, think, let me see here what kind of tube I have. I have a, a 6J7 tube is the input. No, that's the driver. And for the input tube, I have here a, hold on. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this, I forget what this tube is. Six, I think it's a 6J7. This is a, a 6J7, of, if I'm not mistaken. I forget. I have the schematic somewhere and I haven't taken this apart in a while, but this is it. This is my amp. It's a heavy beast. It's super, super heavy. It puts out 10 watts per channel. Now these are huge transformers. And so this is beautiful sounding amp. And I have a rectification, tube rectification as you can see. volume control left and right and you have your input so yes this is this is my my amp that I use on my on my surround system. I use this almost every day when I come home. I turn on the TV and flick it on, and this is what I listen to when I watch movies. It's a very clean, very very quiet amplifier. Did I mention it's heavy? It's one of the heaviest tube amps I've ever put together. It's extremely heavy. These transformers are no joke. They're, they're big. I, let me get a ruler so I can show you how big for reference. I don't think I have a ruler near me, but... Um, shoot, you know, they're, they're pretty big. They're heavy. I decided to put a paper and oil, like I mentioned, input capacitor. And there's my choke back there. I think it's a 10 Henry choke. This is a sp 
speaker input, I mean speaker output. Once again, these handles. Let me flip it over. I need both hands for this. Get this a very heavy amp. And I'll show you underneath. Um, so my goal for building tube amplifiers, I want to use a common tube, nothing very expensive, simple circuitry, something that gets the job done, minimal parts, and something that sounds great. Um, you can make a good sounding tube amplifier without having to spend a lot of money. I know a lot of folks want to buy those 300B tubes or, or, or something like that and spend a lot of money. And, you know, these, these amps, if you wire them correctly and if you have a, 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 a nice circuitry, a nice circuit, use quality components, you can make some of these tube amps uh, with... Uh,